I'm a reactionary. I react. I'm sick and tired of hearing about all of the radicals and the perverts and the liberals and the leftists and the communists coming out of the closet. It's time for God's people to come out of the closet, out of the churches, and change America. We must do it. Under the guise of religion, the radical right preached hateful rhetoric on issues of gender, morality, and family. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One Savior, I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag. Cloaked in religious language, the radical right was able to conceal its powerful political, economic, and social agenda. The new right would like to see the conservatives, not only in the federal government, but in the state, in local government, in, in the major institutions of this country, whether it's big business, big labor, big education, big media. Direct mail wizard Richard Vigory, using mailing lists of conservative supporters of failed presidential candidate Barry Goldwater, turned opposition to ERA and abortion rights into a mass Christian right-wing movement. Political activists Paul Weirich and Richard Vigory were radicals working to take over the power structure of the country. There's a lot of talk and there's a lot of fury about these uh, religious conservatives getting active. There's any question about it that if they got their act together, they could elect uh, half of the United States Senate and half the House of Representatives. To achieve their goals, the radical right needed money. Joseph Coors supported organizations with anti-woman, anti-gay and lesbian, anti-Semitic activities. With seed money from Coors, Paul Weirich founded the right-wing think tank Heritage Foundation and the Committee for the Survival of a Free Congress. Richard Mellon Scaife, heir to the Mellon banking and oil fortune, the man who created modern conservatism. As the Wall Street Journal puts it, he is nothing less than the financial archangel for the radical right. With money from a host of wealthy sources, the radical right built a fortune for anti-feminist politics. The need now was for religious cover to provide the illusion of a mandate from the American people. Enter the televangelist. Jimmy Swagger Ministry.